Hello, and uh, welcome back to Age of Wonders Planet Ball. I'm going to try to take things a little bit more carefully today. By which I mean we're going to have both of our armies actually together. Uh, this is considered to be Imperial Defense. Hmm. Okay, well. Right, so I don't know what... What uh, completing this quest does, probably not much given precedent for this sort of thing, but hopefully the production isn't completely squandered. Hmm, I have allies, so I could be buying units. I think given what I'm doing, uh, Autonom makes more sense because they have fire by default, right? doing thermal damage, which uh, since I'm playing Promethean, I get mods that can improve that. Also, I could grab the Mining Laser Upgrade if I wanted to make my units better at dealing with armored enemies. Network compatible. Hmm, only on cyborgs? That's uh, probably not, not great for me. This would be more of like an assembly type thing, I guess. So do I want golems or sentinels? Uh, if I had three sentinels... Maybe? What's my... my base looking like? I have a shielding laboratory. I probably want to build that before... Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Uh, is it? No, it's not. It's the right one. Right, I decided. We're, the main base is going to be econ, and the secondary base is going to be unit production. Because that way the main base can do all those extra structures like getting the Cosmite and the Influence Structure. I don't know why it took me this long to clue into this. I always just kind of by default had the, the HQ base be the unit producer. But having the HQ base be the unit pr producer directly conflicts with a bunch of other stuff that only the HQ base can do. So that's a, a big argument for expanding early. Anyway, um, with this in my... this added to my forces, obviously I'll be a lot stronger. The thing is, if I don't attack them now, I'm assuming that they're going to outscale me in terms of how many troops they get. So I think I'm kind of forced just to keep going, and if this fails, I'll restart the mission from the beginning and just kind of ignore all the stuff back here because well, we're on turn 12, and I think uh, this squad here spent... I mean, this is literally the first time they're down here, so... When did these guys get out here? What, turn 6 maybe? We've lost six turns that I could have been using this army to clear things down here more effectively, grabbing more territory, crushing this Kirko player, who's the only one I'm at war with. The other ones haven't declared war on me yet, somehow. So I think that'll be the plan if, uh... Like, that's just kind of how this thing works. We have to attack. Also, uh, I just realized this, this map, um... I, I could be going all the way to the left. It's not like this is a back area. Like, this isn't a flat plane. This is a sphere? Well, I guess it's a cylinder, really. We can go from the left to the right. All these 4X games with their cylindrical planets. So we go to the right, so we don't have to come through the enemy. We could actually just keep expanding out this way. Uh, although, that looks like a base. Uh, oh, that's the Syndicate, and that explains how the Syndicate got back here and why I was confused about it earlier. Uh, dwelling? I guess this is water I'm seeing on the map. There's some color. Yeah. So, I mean, I would have the option of just completely ignoring them and just aggressively expanding to the left. I think they'd all declare war on me uh, relatively early if I did that. But it is an option. Uh, okay, yeah, you're out of movement. It is an option. Okay, am I being attacked by four stacks? No, I'm having them move forward for some reason. Okay. Well, if that last is really two, I suspect it's not. I suspect there's a bunch of hidden in there. But if it's really just two units, then that's an easy fight, I think. I say easy, but it's four, four hidden in this stack. Hidden? I mean, they're actually not that bad. They're kind of annoying to deal with sometimes, but the base 
infantry units with the melee attacks are actually more threatening for me than the hidden seem to be. All right, Dolly, I built your your metal speakers. Hell yes, all measured sound levels are going off the charts. Finally, I'll be able to ring out the Anthem of the Abyss in all its might. Join the audience, Naranga Odd. This concert will be a singular experience. As General of the Scarlet Scepter, I have more important things to do than to attend questionable debaucheries of this kind. However, I will be sending a Shikarn delegation to ensure that there won't be any use or analysis of our technology in ways that were not agreed upon. Is the reporter received true, General, that you have been sharing weapons with the Syndicate, our enemies? You are aware that such an action would have, would have to be considered an act of treason if not committed due to extraordinary reasons. You have every right to question my methods in this affair, my Chancellor, but you can be assured that my actions were motivated by matters of the gravest concern. In my Saladius II reports, I described the encounters with a new type of sci-fish we currently call the Voidbringers. Single entities of these Voidbringers have now been spotted on Parlamon Alpha, and if there's any credibility to Dali Ardelli's words, many more could be on their way. If they turn out to be a serious threat, I want to be prepared. Your initiative is duly noted, General Naranga, but you should not conduct matters of this scope behind your Chancellor's back, nor let them distract you from performing your role as General in this war. Objective completed. Horror show. Dali Ardelli has invited you to join his concert in anticipation of the arriving Voidbringers. We should send some of our scientists to observe the spectacle and find out if these Voidbringers will become an actual threat. That's a lot of research spent on observing his concerts. Oh boy. And we get Emergency Combat Regenerator. When health reaches 30% or lower, units healed for 30% and 20% damage for some reason. Interesting. Hmm. Can only be applied to infantry. Ah. Not only is it four more hidden, but there's another hidden here. This is ridiculous. I'm considered to be stronger. But, man, it's, uh, that's just going to be a really long fight. Not one that I particularly want to play out, to be honest. Hmm. Just for the pirates. I mean, that's right there. So if we crush this, crush this. That's the idea. Happiness eventing colony. Nice. I wonder if he'll get angry at me for doing this. All right. Well, that means a smart thing to do. It's actually to attack here. Looks good to me. And one more. We lost a Hopperhound Blade Maw to take out that entire army. I think I'm okay with that. And that'll be easy. Okay. And with all that dead. Empire task completed. Okay, we finished Technologist. Good for us. With all that dead, now we should really be able to push forward. Extermination Squad. 20% extra damage to Animal Plant and Xenoplague. Hmm. Against the Kirko? I mean, this will be good against the Amazons. So it might still be worth taking. Zardis Army Training. Did I not take that earlier? Oh, I took Zardis Instructors, right. Because I wanted this for some reason. Uh, plus two resistance to status effects and universal camouflage. I mean, that's nice. Mostly because... You have minus two resistance against status effects just by default. Which means that we get all of the stuns. So I think we take that to cancel out the Xeno debilitation. And then static effect resistance will be four for you. Wait. Oh, we already had... 
We already had plus two from something. Oh, that must have just been a um, an infiltrator ability. Okay. Yeah, because these guys no longer have minus two. Okay. That's probably good. And we could get better overwatch or more accuracy. I think we just probably take more accuracy. And as for you... Override Demon. Really good against mechanical enemies. Do we know... what we're up against yet? We know that the... the Kirko opponent is Void Tech, because we saw some Echo Walkers. We don't know the other two. Presumably one of them will be Synthesis. And also they are, what, an Amazon and a Vanguard. The Amazon's not going to have Mechanical or Cyborg. Vanguard do use machines, though. So this will be good. It's just a matter of, well, okay, call Insider. It's like, it will be good, however. Hmm, accuracy when firing from cover. Sure. Hmm. So I do need to eject them with a negotiate, which is fine. In fact, let's just do this now. Negotiate. Take the reward. Raise. And move back. There we go. And that way we're not raising two of these in one turn. We can just get that and be done. Alright, Brass Tower. We finished the one thing. Next up is... Okay, I guess the reason we want military in the capital, now that I'm thinking about it, is if we're doing influence plays, because any units we hire will get the capital's bonuses for things like shielding laboratories. Hmm, that's fine. We'll just have our... these units be maybe a little bit less good. The thing to keep in mind, though, if I do intend to play influence... Which, uh, right, I have a whole bunch of influence because I got a bonus from it right off the bat. Well, both of those are really good. And that. Which level 5 gives us 30% less upkeep. I think the shielding laboratory... Well, hold on. This immediately gives me more money. Then Shielding Laboratory is probably a higher uh, priority. Like, Optimization would give me more money, but I'm not... It would give me, what, two more a turn? Until I hit Population 7, then it would be four more a turn? No. Let's just get those done. Alright, do you have more army? Wow, more army. This is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Also, I don't need to be doing this. I could um, switch the tech off. Very in demand Cosmite. Sure. Chancellor does a thing. Chancellor does another thing and almost dies. Happiness event in colony. Okay, Ajaya. That early food sector paying off. We now get extra. All right, I wanted to, well, I wanted to build a forward base there, but I guess I'll just do that instead. Okay, you have a bunch of weak units, but also that. And six more hidden again. All right. Operations available. Don't have for... anything I can do there. My units are all full health, so we should be able to win this without really any casualties again. 
Oh, that's pretty close. The thing is... Oh, we lost our commander? It's just gonna be such a long fight, but I guess we'll we'll play it out. Yeah, an issue. Oh, are they separated by a river? Kind of. Uh, two only two units. Yeah, the thing is, as a player, I much prefer playing on the strategic layer than playing on the tactical layer. But I feel like this mission doesn't really let me do that. This is all going to be about doing a lot of tactical stuff. Alright, so we want to rush up here and deal with these guys, probably. Because if we can kill those six and then deal with this separately, that would be ideal. However, then these guys are kind of on their own. Also, how do I get up here? I guess that's climbable, probably. Yeah, some of these broken walls are climbable. Well, let's just uh, group our enemy as much as we uh, our army as much as we can. Okay, if I do this, they get three, or they get three, but they can't get more than three here. This is once per battle, heal fifteen, also removes negative status. Well. Hmm. Ascendant. Absorb pain on this guy? Maybe. go into a hidden. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, oh, right, you only get one action. Well, this will do that. Yep, they hit three units. nicely grouped up. I don't think I have anybody who can take advantage of that, though. That's, uh... Okay, I guess you're just dead. That's unfortunate. Because these snipers... Which is a really bad start, because I was trying to do this without losing any units. available, so I could go high frequency projection here and hit all four of you.
Hmm. Unfortunately, why is it fifty? Oh, still a good hit. Yeah, this is what you're doing if you're going to try to hit one of these. Omni Perforator. You are just melee, so you actually can't do anything this turn. That's unfortunate. This is high impact stagger. Okay, we didn't stagger. Just trying to get rid of their powerful attack. Hit them for a bunch of stuff. Oh, you can't even get down there. Okay, well. I guess we stagger everybody. Um, malware demon. Like, I really want to place this thing. However,. going to take up my actions. It's always the problem. Because they're attacking me and I want to be attacking back. But none of them have... Um... Oh. All three of you have phase walkers, so you can just charge up and get to me. Yeah. Well... some points from them. What's wrong with you? What happened? Oh. Wait. These things get a fumble chance if they shift into a race that I'm hostile with? I do not agree with that. That seems like that's a big issue with how this is programmed. Like that should not be the case.
Okay. Those guys are at least doing something. Cattle for the slaughter. Okay, I think I can get around like this. But now that I know... That's really bad. Oh, I hit my own I hit my own unit. Enemy destroyed. Reverb, okay. Reverb actually did a thing. You to be dead. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, that lets me use the purification without getting a counterattack. Okay, we still got stuff going on down here. Good mend. Oh, that's interesting. Storm, let's move you over here before we do this. So we could kill one of them. I think if we do this, we also. Yeah, we just do a lot of damage. Enemy eliminated. Alright, am I at risk of losing anybody on this turn? Maybe you? Too. Unit destroyed. Okay, so we ended up losing two units in this fight. Potentially a third. No, they were just being really dumb. Okay, 
So hollow shifted. I guess if you die. I guess if you die while hollow shifted, you don't actually die? That's good to know. I didn't say that anywhere on the tooltip, did it? Which would make this a lot more worth doing then. Call a shift the commander. Alright, so we lost. We lost a unit. I don't think I have a way to revive them on any of my heroes. Okay. Good, we got a stagger. That means Enemy annihilated. We can just kill them. Nice. Double stagger over there. He's good once he gets into battle. Down here, do we have anybody left? I guess we burn for a whole bunch, or we just do an Omnishot. Now you do have a heal. I could potentially lose an Infiltrator here. And you have a range of five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I would be sacrificing the ability to attack with the Infiltrator. Cattle for the slaughter. Enemy destroyed. Yeah, let's upgrade this guy so you can hit harder. Made a difference. Now I think these sleeper agents are a lot stronger used together. Because you get the reverb procs. Cattle for the slaughter. Or we could just do that, I guess. Okay, well that was a very good turn. Uh, Transcendent still has actions. Oh, in that case, let's absorb pain on you. So you shouldn't be able to die, which means we can actually use you to attack or to heal someone else. One hit point. Classic. Mist grazed. Enemy eliminated. Ooh, there is a retaliation. Okay, you are no longer infiltrating. Well, at this point, obviously we want to heal on you. And I think that's it. So we did take some casualties here. Um, hold on. You're currently a hidden. We do this. Yeah, you haven't done a heal yet in this fight. Is there anybody who really needs it who isn't a summon, though? 
I mean, there's you. All right, we'll maximize our abilities, I guess, by getting an extra heal. My forces are victorious. Hmm. Lost two more units, that's not great. Didn't lose our hero though, which means we can keep pushing forward without... Like, the hero is just a massive loss in strength, so even though we lost two units, I think it was still probably better that I played it out. Because I lost one unit and a hero the other way. Alright, extermination squad. I am... Domok army training. Non-hero units gain 10% crit, 5 health. Alright, I mean, 99 HP on the Phoenix Walker now. Yeah, I mean, this is a sturdy stack. Yeah, you leveled again, of course. Assisted Breach. Uh, you are not a commander, so we will not do that. Which means, what are we going to do here? Defense Expert is always good. Take the defense expert. Okay, and this army is pretty ridiculous. I should be able just to clear this without any problems. Lightning Sniper. Do we sell the, the sniper for 50 or do we just take it? I think we're gonna take it. Objective completed. Pirates destroyed, get burning canisters. Or blurring, rather. Blurring canisters. Hmm. Oh, it's a mod. It's not a... Not a secondary weapon. Uh, I don't know. Twenty-seven production. So and it's kind of nice, I think. I mean, I'm currently building uh, energy plants, right? So we'll take the production, but... Hmm. All right. Now, the real question is, do they have more troops? And also, can they get to me while I'm separated? The real two questions. Uh, that's a resupply. That's not going to help in terms of movement. So I guess we keep moving. And I get my first Plasmoid next turn, which is nice. Uh, man. I really don't want to be doing the concert observations right now. Because my research is so bad. I'll stick with it. Yeah, so even though we lost some units, I think we might have actually gained strength just because of the leader abilities. I can hope, anyway. And it should take them at least two turns to have another 12 units to send at me. Also, I can only hope. Sector annexed. Okay. Production ready. Alright, so Uncommon Bayou. Should we just go with the other food? And just really grow the capital? I feel like that's mmm. Cause with a second food slot, we can also take the uh the export. So if our capital gets super big, we can We can then start feeding all our other bases. Of course, we only have the two for now, but if we con start conquering a bunch of stuff, we might get more. Or we could go residential, and that would allow me, since we are growing a lot anyway. One, two. We get one more after this, right? I might be able to do a residential. I might not be able to. I don't know. The residentials are weird.
So the question is, do I want another food? I don't think the agriculture is the way to go here. Because I think that's just... We're already growing decently fast. We'll go residential. Residential will allow us just to have a lot more sectors. Keep expanding. I want this. Uh, which... I can grab as soon as I put a unit in there. And I need science. So, you know, that's probably what I should have done. Well, while I'm thinking about it... I don't know. Buy a sentinel. We really need this den. And we'll take the science. Okay. Production ready. Go shielding. This goes there, that's fine. Okay. I guess we rush this base and hope that we can take it out before um before they have a million units. That's actually only four. Oh, I can't see that far. Okay. You can, though. Okay. Yeah, that's that should be fine. Put the plasmoid in here. It's a light unit, but it's not infantry. So I think I actually want you in this stack. Because you're not light either, but you do have more health here. Operations available for priming. Incineration strike would be nice. This is why I'd really like to get more operation points. Of course, I don't do a ton of fire damage, thermal damage, so that's not terribly useful. I guess we'll just get more units. Oh, something's going on over here. Got a shepherd. Thundermoss Swarmling. These are new. Oh, you got the bio staff. Okay. Oh, speaking of which, if I had equipped that on somebody, I would have been able to resurrect a unit in the previous fight. So I probably just want that on you. Which means hard light is less good. So we'll take wide range mending rig. We'll make you into a healer, sure. Do I want this? Dispersing gas bomb. Thermal grenade. Uh, we'll take that as well. Sure. Completely swap your loadout. loadout. Just too bad because the purifier gun was kind of nice, but this would have uh, kept another unit alive. Hey, look, another. That might be a different player. It's probably not. I mean, our health is looking decent. They're attacking into me. With a lot of stuff. Okay, well... Problem with this, where's my, there's my second army. Okay, we'll move you guys first, because we want to rush these guys over here. Okay, but this looks like all of their 
influence troops. And just more general stuff. Like, they've got to be close to out of units at this point, right? Get our sleeper agents. So now we know that hollow shifting tanks your morale, which I still think is really shouldn't be a thing. You do not have any vomiters over here. What about this thing with the bullet spin? Just two X's? Yeah. Uh, the emergence actually kind of scary. They got frenzied over here. Hmm. All your frenzied and this thing. The engulfer is also kind of scary. So like, this is really the scary stack. Everything else just kind of... whatever. We'll just heal right off the bat. And that gives a. You can remove negative status though. Okay. I think when I'm uh, uploading the video, I'm going to... Uh, well, I like the run animation. When I'm uploading this video, I think I'm going to count just how many Kirko units I've killed. Like, army units, not even including garrisons or whatever. Because this is kind of silly. Alright, so they did not attack me. Which means if I continue forward... I'm also in a better spot because I've already done all three of my insiders. And they've done the Corrosive Detonator, which, okay, I lost some armor on some units, but it's not the end of the world. Hmm. Okay, well, you are definitely blinking forward on the next turn. Hmm, I kind of want to be here. I wonder if they'll attack into me. Could heal so they can transform you into a transcendent. Could use my heal or my absorb pain. Okay, we're actually gonna go here. And absorb pain. Yep, that morale hit. OK, 
Okay, we're going to run you over here, and... Yeah. Deploy the other... The other unit over that way. Hmm. Try not to do a group of three. Okay, I think I'm going to do this now. Well, now they should definitely attack me, because I've done damage to them. I could do an operation. Hit three units. I could hit three units over here. Does this stun? High impact. Right, so I have a chance of staggering all of you. Okay. And I targeted these three specifically so that if everybody's charging in, they have fewer movement points and they will be further out. Okay. And yeah, they're they're coming in. Resisted the blind, good. I don't really want to lose the plasmoid, but if I do, it's not the end of the world. Okay. That's actually okay. With my faction of the Shikarn heal, if they take damage, they heal on the next turn. So taking a little bit of damage on a bunch of units is actually not a problem. Okay. Man, you're gonna have a hard time getting anywhere, huh? Okay, well I might lose my sleeper agent. That's fine, that's a summoned unit. I would obviously prefer it not to have died right then. But... Oh. Well, I guess at least you're uh, disoriented. So yeah, these guys can just hop, so getting these guys out of the battle that way didn't matter so much. I guess. guys are too far out to do anything. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, a bunch of heals for everybody. I feel like these guys took a hit last turn. They lost movement points, but they didn't lose much else. Thrill, that's right, that's a thing you can do. Or I could kill you, actually. Uh, you don't do... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm.
I think that's a good start. High chance of staggering whoever I attack, so probably running up here and hitting you. Uh, let's see. Let's see who else is in a position to do something, though. Hmm. Well, you're really not. I guess if we run you up here... Uh, we can hit a few units this way. Let's see if we can stagger you. Nice. Take out the blind. For the also have the, the sniper in a bad spot, although I think it might be able to shroud step out of this without getting killed. Um, caustic smoke, let's not go through that. Hmm. Well... Okay, I think we do want to do this. I always like to stagger the snipers, even though they do, they do have this, that's only 10 damage as opposed to 16 at higher range. They get a lot less scary. Uh, does anybody need a heal? I guess I could technically heal this. Ah, I did some damage. Alright, with you... Hmm, impaired for a turn would be good. Staggering would also be good. The thing about this is you can then... Well, you're hardly going to do any damage. So let's just occupy you. Move away from the plasmoid. Uh, plasmoid, if I recall, the lash uh, backlash, not lashback. Enemy units. Okay, right. It knows to control how the fire around it is exploding. It's a very handy skill to have. All right, with you. Uh, oh, you do a lot of damage. Hmm. We could also increase somebody's damage. Uh, you have not acted yet this turn. Go here. I mean, we can kill you without... Enemy destroyed. Without worrying about that. Heal a target. Hmm. Enemy killed. Alright. I guess we'll run you up this way and... Get a hit in there. Now, I don't want to lose the Phoenix Walker, but it's pretty sturdy. This is a lot of stuff still coming in. But I think I've killed basically everything that isn't this. Oh. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay, they're going for the Plasmoid. I guess they're gonna get the plasmoid. Enemy eliminated. Eternal glory. Which is okay. It's my least valuable unit. Okay, yeah. Could get out of the melee overwatch. 
Those quaking shields, uh, questionable. Ooh, spending a battle vomit? I mean, I guess if you couldn't get into range. Oh. Okay, right, so... How does the... Disrupting hack. Original weapon augments. Wait, you have more... You have more abilities than show up there, don't you? Rejuvenating Ray. Biological or Cyborg. Okay, so I cannot get it back. But I guess we'll run out here. Heal you. Because it's free. Uh, range 3, so we're limited. Okay, well, let's start with the stuff that's further back. Nice crit. I mean, that's the only thing you can you can really try to hit. I guess you're kind of in the same boat. Oh, it's because of the Kirko putting down the enemy annihilated. Putting down the uh, cloaking field. Enemy eliminated. Okay. You got staggered? Oh no, you're just slow. Enemy down. Hmm. Oh, I would like to heal. I was hoping I'd be able to attack... Wait, I can hold down... Is it alt? Aha! I will attack the ground. Enemy annihilated. Okay, that hero's starting to look pretty good. this, so I'm actually going to retreat with it. Does that break the link? I guess it did. Oh. Well, so much for that. Did it say biological on there? I didn't think it did. Man target friendly unit doesn't work on mechanical units. Okay, there's a second line. Well, I can't absorb pain on it either. Okay, I'll we'll absorb pain on you then. Uh, you still have an action. Twenty-five, thirty-five. Okay. Caustic smoke, don't really care. Eternal glory. I guess I should have cared a little bit.
Okay, Hero is taking a little bit of damage. You being repaired would be nice. Yeah, you don't do a lot of damage, but you're kind of handy to have. Well... Those are some bad shots. And I guess the damage is higher than it shows, because each time you hit, you're also destroying armor. So yeah, each hit should be slightly stronger. I uh, didn't finish him off, though. Uh, nothing's going to be in range for you, right? Don't hit my own unit. Enemy kill. Good enough. Okay. Well, let's start with you. Cancel that melee overwatch. Enemy annihilated. You're still slow, huh? Chance to stagger, chance to stagger. Air hit. Let's kill you and drop you on the other one. Ah, that's always fun. I don't think you really have anything to do. Wait, does this work on... This works, right? I really want more of these raiders, honestly. Uh, healing Surge. I guess it's a Kiriko ability. No. Wait, I have more units? Oh, you still have an action. Okay, whatever. So they've got two snipers left. Enemy destroyed. One sniper left. And I think the only thing I lost was the plasmoid. Superior once more. Turn. Lost the plasmoid, killed another 15 units. Okay, well, they should really have very little defenders left here. Now, the problem is if I conquer this, I'm not raising bases. Also, the Imperial defenses that I raised, apparently, this one didn't count. The, the one over here. Because it was owned by the Independents, I guess? I don't know. Hopperhound Nest. Yeah, so clear that. So if I conquer this, I'm not raising these. Mm. Well, that's a problem for next time, I guess. I will see you then.